<laughs> Alright, cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. So we woke up to this music, which I think has been going on for a really long time, and the weather is gorgeous outside. The view is beautiful. You can even see the mountains over in the background over there. And we're just really excited to get some food. What a breakfast. Some pancakes, a croissant, some potatoes, some noodles, fried egg with peppers. Like... Got everything. We're just gonna stay at our hotel the whole time. It has everything we need. And we'll see the temples. <laughs> yeah, we'll see the temples and then stay at our hotel. They got a pool. I had coffee, so I woke up. Yay! Welcome to Cambodia. <laughs> Welcome to see him reap, actually, in Cambodia. We're awake. The breakfast was amazing. <laughs> And today I think we're just going to walk around and check out some markets. Um, we're just going to walk around, we're going to enjoy uh, Siem Reap and we'll see what it has to offer. have our laundry done. Yeah, we'll have our laundry done. We have clean underwear finally. I've been wearing the same pair of underwear for the past two days. You guys mm -hmm. don't need to know that though. Let's go get yeah. changed and uh, let's go take a shower. Let's go take a shower and then we'll explore. This music has been going on all morning. I'm actually about it. It's like really good music. We woke up to it and it's super chill. Like, I don't know if it happens every single day, but... It's cool. We're gonna go drop off some laundry and then explore some of Siem Reap. We got water. It's very <laughs> important here in Cambodia to get water. <laughs> Keep yourself hydrated. One thing that we all notice here in Cambodia is that everything is priced out in dollar bills. It's better to have USD here actually. Um, and a lot of places accept both USD and local currency. So it makes it a lot easier for traveling. You don't have to do the conversion rates. You just like see, okay, $1, $2, whatever. So this water, for example, is 65 cents. We paid in USD. We're good to go. Let's continue on our adventure in Siem Reap. Here, what's up? You're twerking for everybody to see. It's inappropriate for you two, but they made him balls. Did you see it? Let's see, let me see this banana skirt. I might actually get this. this How much is, so is it? Funny. This is what fitting rooms look like in Cambodia. Ooh. Oh, work it. <laughs> now you have to be dead honest with me if you like something or not, because is there? There's no mirror, no. You like it or not? Comment down below. Yay or nay? I actually do. Not gonna lie, I actually do. I like it. I like it. A I don't lot. like the white shirt underneath, but that's yeah, the changing yeah, yeah, rooms in Cambodia. Safe, maybe. I can explain what the market is like, but let's just walk around. You guys can see all the sights, smell all the smells. You probably won't be able to smell it, but imagine what it smells like. I've already seen a lot of jewelry, a lot of silk, a lot of clothes, a lot of like everything. A lot of paintings. We bought a painting. We bought a painting and we bought some clothes and maybe I'll wear them tomorrow so you can see. But now we're about to walk into the food area and you can already smell the fish. Okay. We didn't want any food, so we just walked right through it, but now we're going to keep going. <laughs> they have a half marathon, an international half marathon, every year, right around this time. It's like the beginning of December, so I think it's on December 4th or 5th, the half marathon, and they have everything set up for it already. You can see signs all over town. We were actually planning on running it, but it's a lot of money. It's like 60 something dollars a ticket, so we decided not to do it, but it's still really cool being in the area right before the half marathon. One of the reasons why people do it is you could actually run through Angkor Wat because the half marathon goes directly through that and you're pretty much paying for your ticket to Angkor Wat because it costs like a two-day ticket is about the same as the price as the marathon itself. So you could run the you could run the half marathon at your own pace, see all the temples and everything along the way. It's a pretty cool way to see the city. This pub street looks so cool. Hey pub street! The cool thing about Cambodia is you can pretty much find any type of meat. They have crocodile pizza here. I'm definitely going to try that later. They also have kangaroo, they have lamb, they have ostrich, they have king prawn, they have squid, they have, uh, like I said before, uh, what's that thing? They have scorpion, they have snakes, pretty much anything that you want to try. I'm going to try the local crocodile pizza and then try to find scorpion later as well. This is me after Thanksgiving dinner, right here. <laughs> this pool is calling our name right now. It's like, it's too, I'm not gonna jump from here. It's too hot out. I'm just gonna take a pool break right now. Sun is setting. All right, we got pad thai, red curry, and what is this thing called, Ruthie? Uh, vegetable amok. Vegetable. Usually it's also served with fish, but we decided not to have the fish with it and just go vegetarian. Oh, it's hot, hold on. 
It has a curry taste. That is really good. It's not spicy. This is really hot in temperature because they literally just cooked it. It's so good. All right, y'all know what red curry tastes like and what pad thai tastes like, so I'm not gonna go over that, but mm -hmm. this thing looks bomb. It's got all I'm kinds of vegetables. It has a curry taste to it. There's like a little bit of like a yogurt, like a base on top. And then it's got all kinds of vegetables. There's like, like beans and carrots and peppers and mushrooms. Finish. Really good. Yo, that thing is delicious. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna eat it all before he even gets a chance. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Honestly, Cambodian food is a lot better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It has the best of Thai food and Indian food mixed together. That's how I describe it. So my dude over here is the most impressive painter. He's watching YouTube and painting at the same time. Hi, I'm Ruthie. I love markets. This, is, this market is very nice, actually. It's the first time I'm seeing clothes that I'm like, wow, like. I like this stuff and like bags and stuff. They have this whole area where they have like back nice backpacks with elephant stuff on it because everything here is elephants, obviously. Yeah. I I actually really like the fact that like this market, this market in particular is really cool because it's super calm and quiet as opposed to like the ones that we've gone to in Asia and it has stuff that I would actually want to buy. It looks really yeah. good quality and I'm feeling it. Cambodia, you did a good job with your markets. Oh, the best part is they have foot massages in the night market. I love that. Hey, what about these pants? <laughs> these pants look good, but they're $30 hairs and we have no money. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look at all these colors. You know you're in the right spot when there's a million tour buses. Good morning, guys. Ruthie's getting did up. Good morning. This morning we're going to Anchor Wat. We're gonna go for sunrise, so hopefully we'll see something beautiful instead of a million other people taking photos. But even if we see a million other people taking photos, I think it's gonna be beautiful. This is our man, Mr. Tuk Tuk, for the whole day. Just caught sunrise. Now we can finally go in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's sunrise, Ruthie. How many puns can you think of for Anchor Wat? One. There's only one. <laughs> Anchor Wat. Anchor Butt. I'm gonna think of more. We just caught the sunrise, and now we're just gonna explore some of the temples. I think we're gonna take the small loop. I don't know what that consists of, but. Probably a lot more temples and pagodas. I don't know if they call them pagodas here as well. I probably should have read up on that. I'm not a tour guide, but he is. Yeah, seven for sure. Uh, yo, this looks so creepy. He looks like he's gonna come out and destroy us. <laughs> What's up? Don't, uh, don't. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch it. Because, you know. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can't touch the stuff in Europe. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that is the biggest caterpillar I've ever seen. I don't think it's a caterpillar. No, it looks no, nutritious. It's not, it's not should we eat it? <laughs> we should eat it's that. Like, it looks like nutritious. <laughs> I feel like everybody takes way too many pictures in Angkor Wat, but then never actually gets to see the place. So we're going to try to see the place while also taking a lot of pictures. The best of both worlds. Spend the whole day if we need to. More pictures. Oh, yes. Angles are good. Oh, okay. This is one place where it actually does look better than in the photos and in the videos. Honestly, it looks beautiful. Oh, work it. We finally made it into the big temple and I think it's gonna take us a very long time to look through everything. We're not gonna be able to even see it all. How did they do this? Show us, show us a demonstration. Is this a stone or is it concrete? That's how they did it, right there. <laughs> this is exactly yeah. how they did it. 2000 this. Uh, years later. Yeah. <laughs> Do you all think they have Wi Fi in this temple? But I mean, it's Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, wait, oh my god. That's Ho Chi Minh. Ho, Ho Chi Minh mixed I mean, with Buddha. <laughs> oh my god. Look how small Ruthie looks. 
compared to this whole temple. Super small. The detail on here is incredible. It's so detailed. So much detail, honestly. This plant is so cool. Ready, watch. Wait, wait, let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me Ready? get in there. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. Do another one. It looks like a painting frame. Okay, now you guys are in the painting. Bye. <laughs> yeah, my favorite part is all these things that look like mirrors, which aren't actually mirrors. This place has so many temples. We just finished Angkor Wat, and now we're at this other temple right now, which is crazy. This is called the Bayo Temple, and it's the a Bayo. temple of many faces. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. There's a lot of other temples surrounding this area, so I think we're gonna go to like four or five other ones until we get tired of temples at that point. <laughs> what do you have to say about this temple? Nothing. It's nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> you just put a candle inside and you're good. You could also use this as chess pieces. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is a thing. <laughs> oh my god. They just have this whole bin of like pieces of the temple. It's so. all free. It's like you can take it on your way out and bring it home. You're good to go. <laughs> this is pretty awesome though. They are restore. They do restore things really well here, which I do love. Hello. That's too far of a walk for me. You're not gonna come up. Hey, yo. This is 42 step. Oh, cool, man. Oh, why'd they make such big steps? It's a valid question. For real. Like. Oh my God. He's still so Hello? far. If you slip, you're dead. Boy, doggy. 42. Good thing nobody steps. slipped. 42. And then more. More, have a 23 more step. 23 more steps? Yeah, yeah. last one. Oh man, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> we came all the way up here to see this. It's Mr. Rams. There's still more up there. This is crazy, the fact that they have a tree growing on this temple, like that's absolutely nuts. Like look at these roots, they're just implanted in there. It's absolutely crazy, look at this. We came back to the same place that we came to yesterday for dinner. I'm gonna eat scorpion tonight. <laughs> that meal was incredible just as it was yesterday. Right now we're gonna go try some scorpion or I'm gonna go try some scorpion and at the market. Watch. We just made it to the night market and everything is so lively here in Siem Reap but this is the spot that I've been looking for the whole time because I can finally get scorpions and other cool bugs. Let's go. Oh, this one and to this one how much? Um, oh six. my god, we're about six. to get these. Six. Oh my god. <laughs> about to eat some scorpions. Are those crickets? And crickets. And grasshopper. <laughs> oh, and grasshoppers? Yeah. Oh, and grasshoppers. Let's go. It's our lucky day. We're going to have a feast. Yo, that tastes good. good. That actually is good. It's better than <laughs> chips. Yeah. Yeah, this actually tastes kind of like chips. You should try this. It's delicious. No. I'm about this. Let's have another one. All right, so bigger than you because you are bigger. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, all right. Here, you can take the smaller one. I guess I'm taking this huge guy right here. Look at him. This is him. <laughs> Let's go. His legs, oh my god. It's crunchy, but it tastes good. I like the crickets more.
one, one photo more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. Mm. Mm, how do you eat this? Ew. Oh, Very no. Dry. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. It, didn't, it didn't get it on the detail. Mm, no. It tastes bland. It tastes really bland. It's very dry. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the... Yeah, the yeah. Cricket. The cricket is better. Okay, I can't... You gotta eat the whole thing, man. Come on, look at this. Here, you can finish it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Huh. Let's go! Mm. Ew, it's in his mouth! <laughs> you look like you were really enjoying it. I don't like the... I don't like that. The, the crickets are delicious. Nazdrovia! <laughs> Hello, and good morning. This is our last day here in Cambodia. Actually, not our last day. We're leaving today in about five hours to go to Bangkok and then over to Cairo. Cambodia was awesome. We only spent three days here and I absolutely loved it. So did Ruthie. I definitely recommend coming to see him reap. We've heard some things about Phom Phem. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the capital, but people who lived there were just like, honestly, all you need to see is Siem Reap in Angkor Wat. So we didn't get to see that city this time, but we're definitely coming back to see a lot more here in Cambodia and just to come and explore Siem Reap in general. It's an overall vibe here. People young and old both enjoy it and love it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed me eating bugs, which is the protein of the future. Uh, we're going over to Egypt next, so tune in for some awesome adventures coming soon.